Hey, this is not sir, and this is the tier 5 premium Japanese destroyer Hujin. She has four 120mm guns, six torpedoes, two AA defense rating, a surface detect of 5.4 kilometers, top speed 37.5 knots, total health 13,100. For my modules, reduced crit chance on main armament, improved aiming accuracy, reduced the chance of flood and fire. For my commander, basic survivability, faster torpedo rearm, last stand, superintendent, improved survivability, and concealment. We're on the map straight, and this was on the stream. It was fantastic. I want to share it. I want to commentate it. I want you to enjoy the torpedo dodges or the torpedo gameplay. It is very entertaining. Now, I went over to see it's the point that's right next to my spawn. I mean, not a lot of thought put went into that. This is on my press account, so I do have access to a ridiculous commander. I have Torpedo Rearm and Last Stand. That would be the ideal build for a Japanese destroyer. Obviously, that isn't easy to have. And we're going to see how well it works out. Now, I haven't sent my torpedoes. The key off. He pulled back, you know. Eh, Chauncey Jones. He doesn't want any of this. I understand. I mean, I'm where... Whoa! What are we detected by? What are we detected by? Not, sir. Are you even aware that you are detected? And I don't want to run into the island. Please don't run into the island. Not, sir. Not, sir. Friendly Clemson is. And yeah, I was aware. Enemy Kamikaze are. The Clemson sends his torpedoes. And it looks like he wants to send the other side. Remember, early tier U.S. destroyers have torpedo tubes on both sides of the ship. And oh, is he going to get him? Oh! No, he dodges. Whew, that was a good dodge. Now, I would really like to send my torpedoes in this moment, but I was afraid the Clemson might move in my way. So I hold off on it, and I send my torpedoes after I've confirmed he's not going anywhere. I send all sets to slam into it, and is he going to dodge this? Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. Okay, I see what we have to deal with. You know, crack the knuckles, get ready to go. We have got to move in and take this guy on. He's popped his smoke. The Clemson's dead. Shocking, right? He missed with his torpedoes. The enemy did not. Now, the time it's taking... Okay, here's another set. I believe there is one more set on the Kamikaze R. I think these are actually the exact same ships, if I remember correctly. Mine just has a cooler paint job. I really like the Kamikaze R, but I got a jack o on my front, right? So I'm going in aggressive. And there he is. Okay, we've got his side, and I'm going to send my torpedoes. I do just a random shot, and I send only one set. I'm going, oh, crap. He's going to move forward. I don't really have the angle, and I don't want to show too much, so here we go. We know torpedoes are incoming. Neutral towards him, neutral towards him. Oh, here come another set. Oh, yes, we fit in. And, oh, boy, look at what we've got here. An enemy destroyer pulling a knot, sir. Can't get out of the way, and point-blank torpedo right up the middle of that ship center mass we sent a message we sent a message indeed and not sir not sir uh you like that okay not sir that's that's okay you like that you dirty dd okay okay eh. b plus could have been better yeah i'm sure he's already really angry that you dodge those torpedoes now some people were like and we pulled a not sir sorry about that i uh, just that island! Where did it exist? You know, I don't remember that island. I mean, it's never actually... Oh, yeah, it's been on the map the entire time of its existence. But, uh, you know what? Who cares about that, right? We just took out that destroyer. We avoided the torpedoes. How did we avoid the torpedoes, not so Well, when addressing a enemy destroyer in a manner as such, you must understand that he must send his torpedoes. And there is, even in a narrow spread, a level of spread on the torpedoes that is wide enough for most destroyers to fit themselves in. So the basic idea is you try and stay as neutral as possible. You sail directly at the destroyer. You allow him to send his torpedoes. And in doing so, he has to be absolutely perfectly precise. The only way he should be able to hit torpedoes as if he has them, sort of in a crisscross manner. He cannot hit me if he gives me enough time to address each torpedo set. Okay? 
So whenever you send a torpedo, send one at the ship, force him to commit to a direction, and then cross while the enemy is avoiding that torpedo set, it will be very challenging to avoid taking damage. And as a destroyer, obviously, uh, one torpedo is going to do me in. And it did that guy in. So I'm going to try and send my torpedoes against the enemy. So far, not looking good, right? I'm the only player on this team that has a kill. We have lost five friendly ships. Not one, but five. So yeah, I was a little apprehensive in the stream. I was going, this doesn't look good. The game looks like it's already slipping out of the hands. But we did do a good torpedo dodge there, right? Yeah, we did do a good torpedo dodge. And I got detected by the enemy aircraft carrier, and I, I don't appreciate it, okay? Doesn't appear to be using his torpedoes or his dive bombers on me, but he does have me spotted. Enemy Königsberg is headed forward. I think he's trying to use the island to fire at the friendly battleship that is just to my west. The enemy Koenig is also fine. Look, it's Koenig and Koenig. Hello, Koenig. Oh, man, the Germans are like, oh, I hate you. <laughs> I love it. I love all the fun. So, we have our torpedoes, of course, ready to go. I send them with the expectation that he will continue backing up. Now, the only read on the situation is, is he doesn't want to move forward. I don't really know at the time that he's trying what appears to be now. Use the island to block line of sight from that battleship. And the torpedoes, they look good. They look good. We'll go back to him one more time for the kill shot, if it is the case. And he is stopping right in front of them. He is dead to rights. See you later, enemy Königsberg. Ah, oh, that felt good. Yes. Now, we only did, like, what, 4,000 points of damage. He was already basically dead. And we got Poseidon coming at me. And, uh, you know, I want to be careful. Aircraft again. Leave me alone. And I'm going to send my torpedoes. We just barely have range. He has an idea of where I am at. But he did just see a friendly dime. So maybe, just maybe... He's not expecting torpedoes. The enemy team has mopped up the northern side of the map, and they are headed this way. So we need to be prepared. And my basic goal is to try and find the weakness of the enemy and exploit it. Now, <laughs> the enemy Svetlana almost sailed into the torpedoes, but he did catch sight of it, and he turned away. The enemy Koenig just barely outside of range. He was avoiding the torpedoes, probably wasn't going to hit even if I had range. So, we've got at least three enemy ships somewhere around the island. I'm going to give ground so I'm not detected. They are using the island to their advantage. I don't know that they know I'm right behind the island, but you can gauge these things based on detection. If they weren't detected by the friendly battleship in the background, which they probably are. So I send, and I sort of send them against both of them, if possible. I expected the enemy in the background to go a little bit farther forward. He doesn't, but the Carl volunteers to take a torpedo, and we almost, we almost hit the enemy Svetlana. I'm sure he had to break very harshly. He honestly probably would have hit it if it wasn't for the friendly Carl taking the first torpedo. And an enemy Clemson, so we have four four enemy ships. Well, no. Why is an enemy battleship that spawned in the south headed all the way to the north? Everyone on my team is in the south, so I'm going to send them every which way and I'm going to fire on the enemy Clemson. He's so low. You just you just can't pass this up, right? You just can't pass it up. So we, we nick him. I set him on fire. Is the fire going to stick? Uh, maybe it's stuck. It was still on the last time I saw him. And it looks like we're going to be able to take this guy out. Oh, we just... We had to follow up. Someone else had to get that guy. Enemy Svetlana, is he going to hit? No. Svetlana, no, no, no. Oh, Clemson shows up just in the nick of time so I could fire on his ship. And we take out the enemy Clemson. All we have left is the enemy Svetlana. I have an island right in front of me, Notzer. Don't pull a Notzer. Oh, you going to do it again? 
The island hasn't changed positions, not sir. It was here the whole time. Uh, at least, at least, you know, the strategy was uh, keep the island in between my ship and the kid off. The Svetlana, we've got to just kill him. We, I am begging my team, please shoot the enemy Clemson. Shoot the enemy Clemson. He's going to do... Shoot the enemy Clemson. We've already killed the Clemson. Shoot the enemy Svetlana. He's going to get us. He's going to get us. And I'm trying my best. Just trying to get center mass, HE. Oh, we're taking so much damage. But we take him out. We take him out. And I earned Kraken Unleashed. Now, remember, there was a kid off. And he's somewhere in the cap. Because it's a diamond, right? And, uh... He's on the other side of the island somewhere, right? Blocking line of sight. I don't have access to smoke. The enemy cruiser that we just killed sent his torpedoes, but I was able to avoid them. Very much so. More torpedoes. Okay, you saw how close that was. He's got to be really close. And most likely he's headed north of the island. North of the island, not so. What are you doing? Why did you, why did you extend the distance? And I was like, ah! We've got to give ground. We've got about two kilometers to cover. It would cover faster if you would use your boost, not sir. Use the boost. And as he fired, you notice I sort of I sort of changed the orientation of the ship. That is a direct response to him firing his guns. Now we have a solo warrior. It's on the table. Right, not sir? Yeah. Yeah. It totally gonna happen. Totally gonna happen. Just wait. Just wait. We're only down 600 points. They have a base advantage. I mean, clearly, clearly this is the solo warrior. You can look at my stats right now, if you don't believe me, before the end of the game, and see that solo warrior was awarded on September the 2nd. So we're going to do everything we can to make that a reality. The kid off going towards the base capture doesn't really need to. He just needs to play it correctly. Now, playing it correctly is not taking torpedoes. I mean, I, I think that's the correct way to play. <laughs> and I'm going to send my torpedoes. Now, this might be considered a mistake. I am putting an island in between my ship and the enemy. That signals, if he's a good player, that I just broke line of sight. And I probably broke it with an island. And he looked like he might have been trying to move in to possibly get within detection, but he has made a grave error in judgment. We sent our torpedoes, we take out the enemy kid off. Earn devastating strike, smack him right on the nose and the center mass, and oh no. We could have gotten the solo warrior if it wasn't for those meddling aircraft and that ugly carrier. He's, uh, he's gonna find me. He can just straight up fly around forever, and yep, here we go. Here we go. We've got the enemy battleship, the Koenig. He's back for more. We also have a torpedo incoming, and I need to be aware. So I'm trying to dodge wiggle for the dive bomber, and okay, never mind. We almost had a nine kill game, just like that Bismarck, right? I mean, it was carbon copy almost, but it was a fun game, right? Kraken unleashed, two devastating strikes, six kills. We killed some targets that just, uh, we shouldn't have killed them like that, but it worked out. 52,000 points of damage, a base capture. I loved the torpedo dodge. It felt so, so, so in your face. Yeah, I'm the better kamikaze. We almost beat the enemy team with their multiplier, and you know what? I'm satisfied. All the damage, of course, in torpedoes. No shocker there. I hope it was entertaining to see the Torpedo Dodge. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.